Hello Aries and welcome to my channel, Expression Personnel. For all those that know me, welcome back. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Aries, we've already cleaned your space. Go ahead and jump right into your reading. Remember to check out www.expressionpersonnel.com slash shop for merchandise. For Aries, In the present moment, we have the Empress. Aries looking totally beautiful, that Empress energy. Creativity, using your resources, getting away from difficult people. I really see that in your past position with the Fool here, definitely taking a leap of faith towards your happiness I see that someone has taken a leap of faith towards you this could be a new beginning with a job this could be a new relationship here with the Empress and the Fool two major arcana cards I would definitely tell you for the next 244 days until that spring, that seven year mark. I really would say that this is a wonderful and creative time for you, Aries. We will have to go ahead and clarify the Three of Swords here. Why someone feels a truth, uh, a heartbreak experience, a heartbreak. Perhaps someone is here in the past position here with the Fool. Someone is... Possibly packing to go see someone. Hmm. Right now, with the, the fool here and the three of swords, I'm going to tell you to trust your gut. Trust your guts more than anything and i mean i'm honestly feeling that here with the three of swords and the full card I, I i really can't feel no other way besides to take and to use your instinct take a more ins how am i supposed to say that instinctual approach Just control and logic will fail, and it will fail miserably. And will absolutely make you 
doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm not even going to play. Just then. I mean, an advocacy of some kind, you know. With the seven of rods here, it just goes and clarifies the fool and heartbreak here. So we kind of have a, a Taurus sign that is sandwiched between a wild card, Uranus opposing a Taurus sign. Sandwiched between wild card, Uranus, clueless, Mercury retrograde. I mean, just looking at these cards, everything kind of feels backwards, like completely. I mean, tell me if you're feeling like everything just, you know, slowed down for you and Okay. Hmm. Well, we have the emperor here. So the action that needs to be taken here, we have the Empress looking beautiful here. Uh, the Emperor here for you. And I'm going to tell you this divine counterpart sitting right next to each other. Sitting right next to each other. What, all because you took a leap of faith, you chose love? You chose love? Let's see what is going on. This is so beautiful. So beautiful, Aries. Let's get another. The future position, we have death ruled by Scorpio. Things having, having to change. Aries. That Scorpio moon will be opposing that Taurus sun. And I'm going to tell you right now, no way, here I do the Celtic cross, here is death, and we have Scorpio, and we have the Empress Taurus to go ahead and clarify. The Three of Swords, Libra. Something that was trying to leave you stagnant. Like I said, with the Fool here and the Three of Swords, it, it's really about using your instinct, trusting your guts. Here with the Death card, the Emperor and the Empress here. This is a lot of power here on the board here. A lot of power plays. And with the Fool card here, it might prove fruitless here. With that three of swords sometimes 
during a Mercury retrograde, retrograde, things do not work out as planned. Even the finest of plans do not work out. Logic and reasoning does not always work out. You have the right time and you have divine timing. I would suggest to hold off on any new beginnings. Continue to set boundaries, continue to stay firm, Aries, until after June 3rd. I would say three days after June 3rd to be more precise. Because a retro, when a retrograde happens, usually it's the three days before and the three days following that, that you are completely in the clear. I believe that you will feel the most effects the three days before a transition of any kind or a retrograde of any kind or full moon of any kind because of that period of so much change and so much completion that is taking place. There's so much pressure. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this as well and see what is going on um, into the following week of May 16th through the 22nd. We're going to look into your money to Aries, see what's going on with that. We're going to go ahead and clarify some of these, um, these major arcana cards that are on the board. We have four major arcana cards. We have the Emperor, we have Death, Empress, and the Fool. So I'm feeling a whole lot of power right here. Um, I'm feeling a lot of beautiful energy here with the Empress on the board. Go ahead and roll some numbers here as well for the Empress. Wow. Wow. Hmm. What is going on with the Empress? We have a number seven here, the Empress, number seven, okay? So some of you, um, some of your birthdays, numerology could equal, equal number seven. Um, really going in with that neck, those beginnings, wonderful new opportunities and ways to expand for you, Aries, for the next seven years as well. It gives me more confirmation with that, getting those spiritual downloads. For the Emperor, we have a number six here. So six could be significant. Numerology as well. So maybe there is a guy with a birthday, number six. Female, the empress. Birthday equals the number seven with numerology. If you don't know what numerology is, go ahead and Google it. Go ahead and Google it. It'll teach you how to break down all your numbers by adding every single digit in your birthday. Okay. It's the we have a number eight for the fool here. So I believe the fool here in the past is linked to a Scorpio. Okay, what's going on with the death card? We have a number nine wounded warrior. So there's some kind of transformation that will be taking place for you here with the fool card, the death card. There's going to be opportunities for expansion, new beginnings. It's going to be bringing so much change into your life. I do see here on the death and the full card. That possibly someone from a great distance or someone who was apart from you, just someone actually might come and see you. For the most part, On that death card, that sun is far in the background, far in the background. He can see it here on the death card as he's sitting here on this horse. 
but in the full card, it is so much closer. It is so much closer. Right now, finishing up old task that will serve you for a more solid foundation in the future will be a more it, it, you will have so much more progress by finishing up old plans right now versus starting anything new but for a lot of you this is a brand new beginning this is something that you don't have to worry about this has been for you it's for you it is divine with the emperor here the empress here this is divine counterparts create creative resources are around you here the fool you know a brand new beginning are you willing to take that leap of faith are you willing to do that that three of swords that heartbreak you know I really feel like things there's a reconciliation if you are willing Aries to leave the old behind even though it hurts you so much and I understand heartbreak does hurt and it, it is something that you feel like you will never get over but the universe is really pushing you forward we have these four major arcana cards here Four is stagnation. I am going to tell you it is stagnation here. And it's going to leave you heartbroken if you just hold on to the past. Everything is so lovely for you. Clarify the fool here, please. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to tell you right here. We just clarified the four here. Number five, we have the Hierophant. We have the Fool and the Hierophant. A productive sun in Taurus, trining Pluto. Productive sun in Taurus, trining Pluto. So, you have the seven of earth here, clarifying the three of swords. So you might feel like you had an epiphany of some kind where you realize that, that that things are the way they are. There is no changing a situation. There is no changing a situation. And for a lot of you, you probably have that epiphany here with that seven of earth as well, where you are willing to maybe let go, forgive and forgive and move on. Maybe a third chance, but I doubt it. I'm, I'm pretty sure if they weren't worth it, they weren't worth it. This is your divine counterpart. Emperor and the Empress. This is a perfect match. Okay, pretty much what's going on here is um, Taurus trying Pluto. 
and business oriented Capricorn. Gives off like that shrewd Mercury energy here. Shrewd Mercury and go getter Aries. Seems like a, a really good time to pretty much catch up with friends. I feel like there's like a, a joyful reconnection here with a lot of this energy here with the Empress and the Fool energy as well. The Seven of Earth and the Higher Fence. The Emperor. And Mercury is going to be moving back into Taurus, okay? It's going to be moving back into Taurus on Sunday, the 22nd. What you do now, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little something about Saturn. Right now is a good time that you are helping people. What you put in to Saturn, into Capricorn, like the homeless, what, uh, helping people that need help, doing these things bring you so much karma, good karma, good, good deeds. The universe wants to reward good behavior. So you do these things, you will be rewarded. So help out as much as you can, help those around you. Um, here with the Emperor and the Empress and the Fool card, I really do see that you would have the resources around you to help others. Um, here with the Scorpio as well. And with the Seven of Earth, I, I, I see that if someone is in a heartbreaking situation and you can help them. Aquarius, Capricorn... That Saturn, Uranus, that will be so amazing. This is an amazing time. It's like, it's like literally getting bonus rewards, you know, for like, instead of like, like when you check out for like perfume or cologne or something, and then they, they're like, oh, you can get another one those kind of things like seem to happen for you when you help others i don't know what it is do it out the kindness of your heart you know not because you think the universe is going to reward you it just does it does it's like the law of threefold Have the Empress for us, please, sir. Because, I mean, very rarely do I get the Emperor and the Empress here and the full card on the board here with Scorpio. With that stubborn, fixed sign energy. Clinging, clinging to old, worn-out ways of doing things. And that full, that full card and the, the Emperor and the Empress is like, you know... That Taurus is like, things are going to change. Things are going to change. Almost feeling like the universe is promising Aries, like, just hold on for one more day. I'm going to surprise you. <laughs> going to surprise you, Aries. You know, just right now, it just might be a rather stubborn time. So get away from stubborn people. Get into creative art endeavors of any kind, you know, finish like old projects. Like I said, like 
if you're a guy, you know, and you want to, you have a, a chip on your car, go fix the chip on your car. Or if you want to install that radio because, you know, for the past year you've been rolling around with no tunes in your car, like, or no AC in your, in your vehicle or something like that, you need to go ahead and get all that fixed. It is definitely time to take that leap of faith and fix old projects as well. As the sun enters pretty much chatty Gemini on Friday, the focus shifts action. It pretty much shifts from that work into your social life more into the weekend. Twenty, twenty-first, and the twenty-second. So, we'll go ahead and clarify the Empress here. Okay. I never, 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 never really take all these, but with the Empress here, we have the Ace of Fire. We have the Page of Fire. We have the Two of Air. We have the King of Air. We have the Chariot. And we have temptation. There is forward movement that is happening for you. There's someone maybe with work. You pretty much don't know which way to go. You might have exhausted yourself. Maybe you, you just, I'm going to tell you here with the king of air, the chariot and temptation here, you bit off a little bit more than you could chew. Some of you are exhausted. The Two of Air, the Page of Fire, and the Ace of Fire, there was a brand new beginning of some kind, and you really put forth the effort, and at a pretty, it, it, it was like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? And I feel that if this, this is for someone, not for everybody, but if this resonates for you, please go ahead and leave a comment. But if you feel exhausted right now, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you things have to change. It's a lifestyle change. You know, think out of old grandma, grandma eyes. Like if you're a grandmother or you're a grandfather and you're an old age, what serves you? You know, what can be adjusted to get you on that stable path here? With the Hierophant here and the Seven of Earth, you know, that Saturn energy is all about stability and Uranus Aquarius is about humanity but it's also a planet of rebellion as well so with that king of swords here the chariot and temptation there was a lot of fast forward movement and I'm going to tell you that you had to take the reins in a situation you had to take a leap of faith and you had to push forward and you're exhausted 15 here temptation i'm feeling a lot of you know um like hustle hustle real hard like you really hustled you your bum off go ahead and clarify the emperor We have the Seven of Air, the Page of Earth, and the Messenger of Water. Some of you really have been using that foundational instinct from when you were a child. I feel right now
there's messages of love between you and a certain someone else. But with that seven of air, that page of earth, and that messenger of water, which we will go ahead and clarify the emperor and the empress, we are not done. Okay. That instinctual approach Okay. I understand that there is a there is a lunar eclipse Monday. And I feel that stubborn energy but I feel so much love for you Aries things are changing for you let's go ahead and clarify the death card for you Aries feeling right now is a great time to call upon your angels okay with the death card we have the five of water so yes okay overall there's something that is going to change it might even shock you to a certain degree but you will receive a message there is something completely changing it will transform your life this message this is uh possibly someone from when you were younger this could be a Scorpio that you haven't heard from in so long that is coming back to reconcile here with the eight of fire again there is some kind of change there is passion and we have it again the messenger of fire so there is going to be a message and i don't think you are going to like this aries one bit if you look at the messenger of fire it is like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah with that five of water the eight of fire and the messenger of fire it almost looks like someone's plan just did not work out for them it really looks like something did not work out okay and i'm going to tell you something it's also linked to the fortunes wheel amazing amazing energy number 10 here this is a completely end of a cycle this is the end of all the bs like everything that has held you back the wheel turns in your favor Aries some of you have some really strong ancestors out there and I'm going to tell you like this spirit just does not play does not play so if somebody had plans to come at you with the eight of water I am going to tell you there was a departure the fortunes wheel and the departure I am telling you there is plans to travel there is change that is going to happen for you on this eight of water in this card and colette baron reed's card here there is jewels once again depicted on most of these cards is a treasure treasure chest full of jewels here again with the temptation here you might be tired but you got you got that's all that matters 
And then again, if you have an abundance, be sure to help those that are around you. We have the Queen of Earth, the Ten of Earth, the Six of Fire, and Strength. Once again, some of you could have Capricorn rising, Capricorn heavy in your chart, the Ten of Earth here. Again, a treasure chest. Just really completing cycles and overall cycle. Now, I'm going to tell you here with the Six of Fire and the Strength card. Speak your truth. Speak your truth, Aries. Speak your truth. We got Snake Eyes, too. 1-1. One, one, 11. And seven. So seven and eleven. eleven. With that seven of earth, some of you really did have that moment where it was like, aha. Aha, I get it. I get it. And here when things actually change for you and with the five of water, you you're like, no. Just know <laughs> the eight of fire, you know, things, things you have what it takes to change things. And with the messenger of fire here, it just feels like the, the messenger of fire as well as the eight of candles. Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you do have what it takes. To make that change. And that's when that wheel of fortune takes place in your life. Highly set in your favor here with that queen of earth and that ten of earth, that six of fire and that strength card as well. And I'm telling you that good old Saturn vibes here with that Capricorn is definitely taking its place. <laughs> Eight again here with the strength having to be a mediator of some kind you know um, with that six of fire as well things heating up for you with that queen of earth that ten of earth six of fire and that strength and that higher fin I, I am definitely feeling more chatty energy coming in for you as well so like I said if you have anything that needs to be said make sure you say it articulate it um, Whatever, just be honest. Just be honest. Let's go ahead and see. What the Empress and the Emperor, Emperor, these cards are just so funny, are about. Let's go ahead and check in and see what is going on for love for Aries. The Emperor and the Empress.
Love messages for the Emperor and the Empress for Aries. Oh. Emotions are a natural, necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And that's what was underlying the whole situation with that Three of Swords, Libra energy. So I feel like in this relationship, there were a lot of mirror games as well. You both might like water a lot, maybe swimming naked. Maybe one of you want to go swimming. Here. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dream passionately. So I do feel a lot of air energy here in this partnership. And you may not always understand why certain things happen. But however, there's always a higher purpose. In the events in your life, through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay. Now we have two birds here. I'm going to tell you what is that saying? Two birds of a feather flock together. So this is an amazing new beginning for this emperor and this empress. Don't know how you met with that seven of earth here, the hierophant. There's a lot of love here. That queen of earth, that ten of earth, that fortune's wheel. This instinct, I'm going to tell you, this is your divine counterpart. This reading is about your divine counterpart. This is someone that is going to take you higher. Like I said here, we have the moon and the sun. This is almost like, no, this is complete. This is complete, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you like this. There's a powerful conjunction. This energy is compounded on Wednesday by a powerful conjunction of Mars and Neptune and Pisces. It's making it a five-star day. For out of the box thinking, artistic endeavors, love, passion, or romance. Use that out of box thinking during this time. So. Let's go ahead and um, draw a card for finances for. Aries during this Mercury retrograded time until June 3rd. Okay, we have definitely, again, we have change. There's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. This just goes with that Wheel of Fortune. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. Sometimes to see change, you must be the change. Do, 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 do. All right. Mercury retrograde. Squaring a got off against Saturn. Mm -mm -mm. Scorpio bringing about that change right now. Bringing emperors and empresses together. The birds and the bees. Mm. Some situation that needed resolution will be resolved and healed. Okay. So right now you maybe have done something in your past. And it is going to be resolved. Okay. Any healing work right now, there uh, is highly favored during this time. Helping people, healing people. It's time to replenish your energy and fully energize to prepare for what's next. For those that bit off more than they can chew, again, okay, that is a warning. Replenish your energy. Drink right, eat healthy, sleep, get enough sleep, take your spiritual baths. I mean, that is, you know... Fruit, eat plenty of fruit, eat your vegetables. Okay. 
build relationships that can help you increase business profits. You don't have to do it alone and make use of available resources. You may receive money or an offer from someone you know. And that goes again with that Scorpio, those four major arcana cards, the emperor and the empress here. You know, these, these are divine, these are partnerships that work, that really, really work, okay? And with that empress and that emperor, things are expanding. Things, you know, you're, you're setting boundaries at this moment, you know, to protect what is yours during this Mercury retrograde. I feel that wholeheartedly. But that fortune's wheel, it's going to allow things to work out in your favor, to expand in your favor, ultimately. Let's do one more for Aries. There is something better. I'm just going to take it. it. There is something better. I'm telling you, it, if it's not happening for you, it will. It will happen for you very, very shortly. It is, things are changing and you can't stop it. Let's go, Aries. Get a stone card for Aries. Black tourmaline. Protect your energy. More confirmation. Black tourmaline. Do I have a piece of... I, I have a piece of black tourmaline. I do. And... Okay, this card is charged for you, Aries. I do have a piece of black tourmaline on here as well to help you protect your energy. Help you be that go-getter. Help you kick open the doors for the other signs. Anything negative for Aries to watch out for. What does Aries need to watch out for? Does Aries need to watch out for and guide this message for Aries? Control. Let go of control and logic. Like I said, right now, have more of a malleable approach, a malleable view. Redemption. Okay, so I, I, I definitely feel control, redemption. Like I said, just things will fail tremendously. Sovereignty. The more malleable and go with the flow that you are right now until the end of this Mercury retrograde and all these power things kind of like go right because here again sovereignty and with denial here with that Scorpio she has a, a braid in her hair but a scorpion tail that hangs from it here with the Morgan Nuba come out next so Tiamat, Mom and Bridget, 
the Morgan and, and Yuga control, redemption, sovereignty, denial. So don't try to control things. Don't hold on to old ways of doing things. You know, because things are changing. Do not hold in there, like hold in there like the cat poster, like, you know, like Lord help me. Okay. Just kind of use this moment to go after your more impractical, impractical, glamorous goals. Just as the best lived life is always the perfect mixture of work and play. So just Thursday this week is looking highly favored for that fortunes wheel for you. I, I definitely see the change taking more effect for you come Thursday. Which would be the 18th. No, it would be the 19th, excuse me. And 1 and 9 equals 10. It will happen Thursday. Please leave a comment. Yes. Yes. We have ran abuse. Okay, just after a, a, a long time of things and possibly some of you just coming from a, a hard place, uh, you know, having a hard life growing up and just different things. I, I'm so sorry. Some of you were controlled growing up and you you tried just to, to get away from people from your past and they just keep keep coming back. Coming back. You know, they have abused their position in your life. But you can also forgive, truly forgive people. You can truly move on from situations. And I definitely believe you can fall in love with the same person over and over again. You know, so, I mean, there, there are so many different versions of love with this. How does that love serve you? What is love to you and how does it serve you? So, but right now is a wonderful time to start uh, partnerships. Okay. Aries, this is lovely energy right now. I, I do see this as a really highly powerful time for you things are definitely going in your favor still um a lot of positive changes there are changes don't hold on to the past like i said just make sure that everything is good with your health you're getting plenty of sleep congratulations to anyone out there that is deciding deciding to plan for a honeymoon i definitely see that maybe maybe your honeymoon was canceled because of uh the covid situation so I definitely see that actually starting to push forward for um, some of you Aries out there. And I definitely see that um, your instinct is really high right now. With the Hierophant coming out so much, I, I really see that this might be a wonderful time for you to get out into nature and uh, really get back. Um, if you've been out of touch with friends at the end of the week, um, would be a wonderful thing for you to do. But yes, um, we can't move forward without letting go of things that no longer serve us here. With that three of swords, um, 10, three to 10, 12, you, that's Libra energy. So there's definitely some kind of, you know, just truth, honor, integrity about a situation that you, you had to really balance out and if you haven't, you're not able to push forward. So you're going to have to balance out some emotions about whatever situation that you're actually going through. 
So and that's that's pretty intense and that's really for the whole collective. That's not really just for one person. I mean, you could be holding on to um many bad ways of things. You know, I the devil is not out here. Usually our devil card is signified uh for Capricorn. Um but with this, you know, the death card that the change things are changing and there there is no stop to that. Just follow your gut, trust your instincts, get back out into nature. And you just might actually have that epiphany when you're out doing what you love, you know, fishing, if you like to fish, if you like to shop, you know, go ahead and, you know, do what you do. All right, wear black tourmaline, stay protected, protect your energy, stay away from difficult people, and make sure that um, you take whatever that you have up here and put it into existence we all would love to see you hopefully by 2024 there's millions of new inventions out there that make our life so much easier so if that gives you any inspiration it can be done i love doing what i'm doing right now being able to help people is it's it's everything to me well, this is my reading for you, Aries. Please like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my website, www.expressionpersonal.com, where you can check out some pretty cool stuff. Like I have coffee mugs, Expression Personnel coffee mugs. I have some amazing jewelry. My own clothing line for the whole entire Zodiac. And uh, of course, one of my favorite pieces here we have a uh, pink quartz I'm gonna wear for you sterling silver let me go ahead and wear it it's so beautiful all right well this is what I have for you of course once again thank you for watching bye